All right, what's up, guys? So today I'm gonna be unboxing this brand new Hunter Mayfair shooting fan I got off of eBay. So here's the box. I got it from the seller Tech and Stuff. So shout out to him. Um, let's see. This fan is a 5025 blade, uh, real wood blades with paper veneer, antique brass finish, installer's choice uh, mounting system. The model the model name is a. Uh, Two, the, the model number is 25460, if you're wondering. So yeah, let's get this thing open. So, a little bit of background about this fan, and like, you know, its origins. Uh, this fan is probably one of the more uncommon, not rare, but like, uncommon hunter ceiling fans made. I know that um, some of the other models, like the Summer Breeze, were more popular. So, let's just get a uh, scissor. So I can cut this thing open. My bad. Should have had a scissor on standby. Oh, there's a scissor. So, just use so, a pair of teal scissors. Yay. So, yeah, we're going to do a full unboxing of this Hunter Mayfair. And here's just a little bit of background. I don't know where the fan came from. It looks like it was sold at a Kmart. You don't really see Kmart anymore these days, do you? It looks like the Kmart in Athens off of uh, Decatur Pike. Interesting. Yeah, I've never had a Kmart fan before, so this will be the first. It's actually very interesting. I'm glad I found that out. So this was actually a Kmart fan. I know that they sold these. I'm pretty sure at Walmart as well. I know they sold some of uh, the, the other rare hunters, like the Bedford at Target. And, you know, other department stores, like those big box stores. So, yeah. I could have also... I, I could see this being sold at, like, a Home Depot as well. But, like, yeah. Kmart seems pretty appropriate for this kind of fan. Anyways. Yeah, you really just don't see Kmart around anymore. But, like, there's only, like, two, like, locations left in the U.S., I'm pretty sure. So, or at least on the mainland. So, yeah. Let's see it now. So, here's our first look. So, first thing out of the box is the blades. You can see, wrapped in a, I forgot what the, oh yeah, shrink wrap. So, yes, uh, oak, I'm pretty sure, and this is walnut. I'm still deciding on which side I should use, so I'll, I'll hold a community poll for that. Some uh, info, info card. There's a low profile on there, and uh, some other five blade hunter. <coughs> Might be a studio series. There are some of An owner's manual. I really do not know why Hunter did not use proper owner's manual. It's just a piece of paper. But, yeah. First go. At their old uh, headquarters. Yeah, this is... When they're still based out of Frisco Avenue. They moved headquarters since then to a uh, location. Oh, whoa. Um... Whoever packaged this did not put the blade on the shop, believe it. Here they are. Yeah, they're all just jumbled up in there. And, uh, yeah. So. Uh, okay. So, just thank God. None of them were tarnished or damaged during shipping. So, yeah. And here is, uh, the installer's choice canopy. And, again, all these parts are really really hot because uh yeah this thing sat in sunny california for like two days straight and the decorative ring balancing kit lock in down rod screw pack and here's the panel cells Here it is. So, so you can see it has the little indents. Just realizing now that there were actually holes into the motor. So, just thinking there's the Hunter logo right there, stamped into the uh, housing. Let's see on the bottom. There is there's the shipping blocks. Looks like Hunter's always been a big fan of shipping blocks. So. Not no surprise there. Let's see if I can figure out the state code stuff. 
I think it's uh, off the line that day, 496. Let's see here. Uh, if anyone can tell me when this fan was made, because I'm not really used to 108 coats. I can tell you a Casablanca one maybe, but I'm not really used to this Hunter stuff. So I, I know that uh, the model name, I mean the number is right there. It doesn't look like there's a serial number on this though. Oh, this might be, uh, if I'm correct, maybe it was the fourth quarter of 96. But, yeah, so 0 0.85 amps. Inside, you can see, I'm pretty sure that's a 172 motor in there. So, yeah. I'll just make sure not to scratch it out. And blades, again. Uh, just, uh, okay, so the scoop pack. Blade arms. A uh, canopy balancing kit, uh, the uh, ball socket, and the trimmer. So, yeah, uh, let's see. there it is. There's your 52 inch Hunter Mayfair Zooming Fan unboxing video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, stay tuned for the installation the uh, removal of the Hampton Bay Brookhurst that this will be replacing, and the installation of this brand new Hunter Mayfair. Hope you guys enjoyed.